Hi, folks. My name is Malik Kadis. I'm the head of engineering here at AnyScale, and I'm really excited to share with you uh, news of an open source project that we're releasing today. It's called Aviary. And the idea is Avery is a place where you can manage uh, and run lots of different open source LLM models. This comes from our experiences. We're huge fans of open source uh, large language models. But, you know, we, I, we were trying to, like, work out what are the best models for particular situations? What are the different pros and cons? And as we started to develop that tool, we came up with this interface that I'm just about to show you now. But it turned out that building the interface was kind of the easy part. What was really the hard part was the back end. You know, it's not like you can just download a model of Hagging Face and go, bloop, it's ready for production. There's much more to it than that. Are there deep speed optimizations for these particular models? Do they work in this case? Is there a bug in deep speed that stops it from working? What are the stop tokens that this particular model uses? What's its model of system prompts and user prompts? Do we need to give it an initial prompt? There's all this kind of additional data. So what I'm going to show you now is an interface that shows you what you can build on top of Aviary. Uh, this is just a demo front end that we've been using to experiment with internally. And what it allows you to do is we've got a host of different open source models here. We have about 10 here right now. And we also have uh, sometimes different types. So for example, for the Mosaic ML types, we have the Instruct fine-tuned version and the Chat fine-tuned version. And what, we, what this model allows us to do is to very easily click on, say, a prompt like, how do I make fried rice? And see how these different LLMs respond to that particular query. Now, the really interesting thing about Amazon Light GPT is today we're filming this on Thursday, May 25th. Amazon Light GPT uh, was released yesterday on Wednesday, May 24th. As you'll see, we were able to get this into Aviary in the space of five minutes. It didn't take us very long. Light GPT has a very standard um, architecture, so it was nothing more than a config file that we had to put together. So as we've seen, we've now hit this model against these three different LLMs all of them open source. And then what we can do here and what we've been using this to evaluate is you can see that this tool gives you the text, but it also gives you um, statistics like which one of these was the fastest. In this particular case, we've had really great exper experiences with Amazon Light GPT. It's very fast, but the answers are pretty good for given how small the model is, right? But maybe, you know, what we want is, you know, a more traditional recipe style thing. And so in this particular case, we might actually give it to number three. And so what we're doing here is in the background, we're collecting statistics every time someone runs this. And what we've been doing is like trying to understand which models are the best. And so what we have is we're computing something like a win ratio. Anything over 1000 is better than random. And what you can see here is that our users internally within AnyScale have been voting and giving us a good signal on like what are the best models. Not surprisingly here, the Open Assistant model is doing very well. That's not completely surprising because it has a 13 billion parameter model. But maybe the surprise in our particular case, for example, is just how well the Mosaic ML chat model performs. So that's one set of metrics that you care about with LLMs is the quality. How good are they? And of course, you know, in this particular case, we're comparing to open source models, but it would be very, very easy to compare this as well with commercial models like OpenAI's. The other side of performance, though, is, of course, cost and latency. This is where, you know, we've been compiling these statistics as well. And what you can see here is that, you know, Amazon Light GPT is just like rocket fast, answers in like 1.4 seconds. It's really a rocket ship. And as a result, its cost per answer is very high. Now, let's have a look at the most expensive models. The most expensive model is the Mosaic StoryWriter model. And that's not because the StoryWriter is more expensive per token. It's actually pretty reasonable. It produces 30 tokens a second. The issue is it produces really large articles. And that's because that's what it's designed for. We can try it later. It's one of the slower models. On average, it takes 20 seconds to produce an output. What it produces is like very, very readable story. And of course, it is a bit more expensive at one cent per article. These are based on statistics. We look at how much it costs the machine and so on. We built this and we thought, hey, this is a really cool tool. But as we started to build it, we started to realize that the interesting thing was not the front end. The front end is interesting. It gives us all of these insights. But really, the back end was complicated because, again, we found it was very hard to actually get these LLMs in production in a stable way, not producing Chinese or any other language. There's a lot of fine tuning that we had to do this. What we've done is we've focused all our energies on making the back end really good and making very easy for you to add new models, as well as to build scalable systems on top of it. So what backs this is array service. You can see here that you know we have something like 11 models running. Right now, it's using something like um, five or six different machines. Uh, you're seeing that the models are already preloaded into the memory of the different nodes, and that we're using machines with four GPUs each. Right now, obviously, we're not sending any queries. Obviously, as the traffic increases, 
that's when you, know, you can do some, some more interesting things and when the system is really at its best. Let me now just take a few moments to walk you through what the code looks like for Avery because we're really excited. We really hope that you folks will be able to contribute code to it too. Our hope is that Avery will be the repository that makes LLMs from all over the place production ready with the appropriate settings, but we make it very easy for you to contribute. So what I'm going to go now to is an instance where we have opened Visual Studio code. And what I'm going to spend the most time on is not the code itself, but just how easy we've tried to make it to add different models. And so, for example, I mentioned that uh, the Amazon LightGPT YAML is here. It's actually derived from uh, you know, one of these other models. And you can see that this config file is not very, very different to the other ones. And so most of the time, you can just copy one YAML file to another. But you know, we give the specifications in terms of the questions of how do we want this thing to be deployed? What's its maximum scale? How do we upscale and downscale? What types of GPUs it's optimized for? Whether we can use uh, optimized algorithms like deep speed. Not all LLMs can be optimized with deep speed. So RWKV, for example, one of these models, which is actually a recurrent neural network model, not a transformer model, can't be done in this way, for example. But we've also configured like what we think are reasonable parameters. But of course, you can modify these parameters. All that you do now is just run it. So over here, I have a, a workspace. Workspaces are what we use in any scale to kind of do our development. But you can just imagine this. This is your favorite Ray cluster. Whatever way you like to launch Ray cluster, whether it's any scale or open source, all you have to do to launch these new models, I won't do it now because it takes like five or six minutes and I don't want to bore you. But literally all you do is you specify which one of those YAML files that we put together you want to load and it loads those models up. So now let's start to, I'm going to show you now the, the CLI that we have available just to show you a power of something like this. So you saw that one option is that we have a company wide service. Uh, like this one, where you might have, you know, you want to share different models between uh, everyone in an organization. And that's one way to do it. But sometimes you just want to run things in your own local uh, workspace or Ray cluster for efficiency and just because you want to experiment. So let's start by seeing what models this uh, LLM supports. Okay, so it's got three preloaded models in it. The one that we were looking at earlier had quite a few more, but maybe for these experiments, we only need these three. What we can do now is, of course, we can query uh, these models. We can query one at a time. Whoops, what did I forget? Oh, I forgot to say query. There we go. And so now it's hitting Amazon Light GPT, and it's telling us the output from that. Um, but of course, we can also print out the statistics about like how much time it used, how many different tokens it was, so that after this, we can compute like different statistics, find out which models we like, find out you know, the different latencies of the different models. Um, and of course, we can also uh, do things like add more models and see how it responds. So we're going to add the other two models and the instruct one and see how they perform. And you can see here that, again, you know, it's finished taking those three queries, sending them to all those diff three different agents and seeing what the results of those queries are which is kind of awesome because now we can start to think about comparison. And what we've also done is we've created a, another system called multi-query. So let's imagine, before I go there, let me just show you, I've created a file here called QA prompts, which has just four prompts that we're going to use for testing. Um, and um, what, what we can do is just go give those four prompts instead. Uh, now, instead of that, we don't need this anymore. We're going to specify a file, which is the file that I just showed you. And, and uh, you can see that it's now starting to um, send these queries through uh, and contact all of the different uh, agents. Right now, we're in the middle of implementing batching, which we think will give us huge speed ups. So hopefully, by the time we release this, this will be even faster. It's really important to understand that this thing is backed by Rayserve. Rayserve has been uh, used extensively um, for serving models of all kinds but is especially well suited to serving these LLMs because of how large they are and the, the careful things you need to do around batching and coding. Uh, so we've really enjoyed being able to build this on top of uh, Rayserve. As you can see, it's almost finished. And it's just processing that last question. And in fact, it's generated a file with like the Avery output. And this is basically just a file that has the output from each of the different LLMs. Uh, and what we can do now that we have this is we can start to do an evaluation of it. So have a look at a command that we've included called Avery Evaluate. 
And you can see that it can take the input um, and where to save the output and everything else. Um, in this particular case, what we've done is we've created uh, the default one is an evaluator that uses a carefully crafted prompt that we're still fine tuning because there are some odd bits in it um, that actually runs uh, the evaluation by asking GPT-4 to rank which of the answers are best. So as you'll see, there's a little bit of bias in the way that um, that Avery uh, that uh, GPT-4 does this, and we're working to improve the prompt. But we hope to make this uh, tool available to everyone to experiment with. Uh, while this is finishing, again, I want to emphasize this is built on top of Ray, uh, which comes with all of those superpowers around being able to deal with high loads, automatically scale. You saw it as managing like 16 GPUs before, like it was nothing. It really does have a lot of capabilities. And so now it's just finalizing the result over here and we'll soon see the result. It's left as an exercise for the user to detect what the bias is. But as you can see, it's ranked um, each of the different models, said which is the best answer, and the idea here now is that you can see pretty well that you know if, if GPT-4 is to be believed, uh, Amazon Light GPT is the best answer. So obviously we're still working on this, but we're really excited about the possibilities of what we and the community will be able to do together. You know, this comes from our own experiences and building this, and we thought, well, if this was something that was useful to us, maybe it will be rest, uh, useful to the rest of the LLM community. So we're open sourcing everything that you've seen. And we're really excited. We hope that people will do things like add new evaluation algorithms to automatically evaluate and also add support for many new LLMs. So as soon as an LLM comes out, uh, we hope to, within hours, have that available through Aviary and have it through the, the, the front end uh, that we demoed to you today. Then you can, can interact with it. So what our plan is when every, every time someone adds a model to the open source repo, we will basically deploy, and very soon after that, that model will appear in this list. So we're really excited about what we and you will build together in terms of making it easier to evaluate, understand the properties of these open source LLMs. And we're just really excited about the future. But we also understand that you know, setting up a rate cluster can be tricky. We have a managed hosted service called AnyScale, but that makes it absolutely trivial for you to bring up your own rate cluster. And in, on top of the existing things that this system can do on Ray by itself, Avery adds a few additional benefits. One of those is the ability to use spot instances uh, with fallback to on-demand, which can save you 50 to 75% on your serving costs. Um, another one is we have zero downtime upgrades. So you can switch from an old version to a new version very, very quickly with no loss of traffic. And we also have some very nice features like scale to zero. So if a model isn't used for a few hours, it gets flushed out. All of that, of course, is configurable. And so we're looking for people who are interested in becoming testers for us as we prepare Aviary running on any scale. Perhaps you're a business that wants to kind of manage that central repository like we showed earlier. Or maybe you're just a, a scientist that's just trying to evaluate the different characteristics of different LLMs. But we're really, really excited just to kind of release this, see how you folks like it or not. And uh, we're just really curious what your reactions to this project will be. Thank you very much for your time, and we can't wait to see what you think.